Welcome back, Jasper Active Excel Lesson 6, and we are going to be adding new data series. I believe this is exercise 6. Let's see. 2, 4, 5, 6. Yep. Here we go. Adding new data series. All right. Let's take a look at what we got. Make sure you are on sheet one, not chart one. And it says scroll up and click the column H. Select the entire column. So I clicked up here in the header. And then it says insert to add a new column. Now add July. Hit enter. And I wish I had a keypad right now, but I don't. 4,000, 2,000, 10,000 again, 8,000, 6,000. At least they're all easy numbers. Okay, now uh, I don't automatically have a total or a sum down below. So, uh, I need to include the sum. So, copy the formula from G12 to H12. I'm just going to click there, grab the plus sign, and drag it over. All right, next. Now, we're going to add new data to the chart. So, uh, click in the Chart 1 Worksheet tab. And... In the data group, click Select Data. So Chart Design tab, Data Group, Select Data. And we have up here through G11. So what I want to do, I can either select from here to here, or I could actually go up and just change the G to an H. And then click OK. Chart is now updated and includes July. Submit it and get it. Boom. Pretty straightforward. Let's try and cram another one in there and we'll use some spark lines. Spark lines. If you want to put glitter in a chart, this is how you do it. All right, select sheet one. On sheet one, uh, the insert tab, there's a spark lines group right here. And I am going to say insert a line spark line. Where do you want to do it? Well, let's select B5 to H5. So B5 to H5. And then where do we want to put it? Let's click J5. And OK. Oh, wait a second. I'm up here in the wrong spot. So B5 to H5. And then location right here, J5. So, we're putting this data into the J5 location and click OK. What did I do wrong? Let's try that again. Location, J5. There we go. And there's our spark line. Now, let's click and drag it down to apply it to all the rest. All right, J5 to J11. I did that already. Now click in cell J5 with gel, cell J5 selected. Go to the design, oh, spark line, design tab under spark line tools. Spark line. And oh, we're already there. So uh, let's check high point and notice it puts a dot at the high point. Check low point and it now applies that dot to the low point. Now we're going to change the spark line type. 
So let's change it to a win-loss right here in the type group. Let's see how it looks as a win-loss. Okay, now let's try a column spark line. That one's kind of easy to understand, but I think I like the line the best. Now it says uh, clear spark line. So here in the group, we're going to say clear selected spark line groups. And now they're all gone. So go back to the quick access toolbar and undo it. You should be left with your column spark lines. Submit it and get it. Woohoo! Party time. We're almost at the end of lesson six.